Hello everyone. Welcome back. In this video, we will discuss about usage of approver delegation option in GRC access control. Sometimes we may come across a situation where the manager or role owner or FFID owner may be out of office and unavailable for certain period of time. When the approver is unavailable, all the access requests which are pending for that approver will be in the decision pending state. To avoid this situation, some of the approvers want to delegate their task to other approver so that they can approve the request on behalf of them during this tenure when they are unavailable. This is feasible in GRC access control using the option approver delegation. This approver delegation can be done in two ways in GRC access control. The first one is where the approver by himself can delegate the authority of approval to another person. The second way is admin delegation where the system admin delegates the approver rights of one approver to the other approver for certain period of time. We will see in detail about both the options. We use two different terminologies called delegator and delegatee. Delegator is the person whose responsibilities are delegated and delegate is the approver who is taking the additional responsibilities. So in GRC access control, the delegatee is authorized to perform the task of delegator. In GRC access control, when we assign this approver delegation, what happens? So the primary approver will receive the access request in his inbox, otherwise called as a delegator, as well as the alternate approver also will receive the same request for approval to his inbox, that is the delegatee. It means that the delegatee will be able to see his own work inbox request along with the request of the delegator as well. Let us try to explore the first option of approver delegation where the owner by himself delegates the approval authority to somebody else. For this purpose in the NWBC my home under my delegation please click on approver delegation. If the owner want to create a new delegation, he or she will have to click on the delegate button as shown in the screen. Then a new window pops up where we need to provide the details of the delegated approver. So the first one is the delegated approver ID which automatically fills with the first name and last name and email. Then the most important fields are valid from and to. So the period for which this approver can approve the request that is the validity period and it is mandatory. And the second one is we need to make the status as active. So in GRC access control this feature enables the delegator to delegate his or her responsibilities to the other delegatee for a specific time. If the delegation is enabled as active all the new access requests which are coming into the delegator's inbox will also go to the delegatee's inbox. That is, both the delegator and delegatee can approve or reject the request from their own inbox. So, in access control application, the delegatee can see his own work items in the work inbox plus the newly coming access request of the delegator as well. The second option is admin delegation. Admin delegation is a feature of GRC access control which works very similar like the approver delegation only. The only difference is in this case the GRC admin has the authorizations to delegate the responsibility of the delegators 
to other delegate based on the business requirements during the absence of the approver admin delegation is the best case to delegate the approver to another approver to run the business smoothly using this admin delegation grc admin can add modify or delete the delegations for grc access control application to use the admin delegation feature go to the access management screen click on admin delegation a new window pop up click on the option delegate it is again as similar to that what we have done in step 1 we need to provide two details the details of the delegate along with the details of the delegator and also we need to provide the valid to and from and make the status as active so during this period all the request will be received by the delegator inbox along with the delegate's inbox here we need to make a note that the delegator need not to be set up as an owner in grc the delegator can be a user in the system if you want only a few requests to be approved by the delegator system admin can forward the request to that user rather than establishing this approver delegation now what authorizations does the delegated approver required the delegated approver need to access the nwbc and should also have the permissions to approve the access request so we need to provide the authorizations for the uh, some defined roles like a role for access request approver the role for access control users and uh, the role to view access control information architecture that is the three different roles sap grc access approver sap grc base sap grc and wbc as shown here so these three roles we need to provide for the delegated approver in additionally uh, for the type of access request if you needed you can use this field grc rqtyp from the authorization grc request and can be used to leverage the authorization for approving only certain type of access request that is again our option will the delegated approver receives the email yes if we have set up the notification settings in the step 5 of msmp workflow for the particular stage of approval with the recipient id as current approvers then once we delegate the access request the same notification template is triggered as an email even for the delegated approver so that the delegated approver will be informed by email saying that the access request are pending in his inbox for approval so this is how the approver delegation process is used in grc access control for more videos on grc please subscribe to our channel thank you